This question is to concern the piecewise function f of x, which is defined by a quotient involving the exponential function when x is not equal to 0 and equals 1 when x equals 0. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel Math Tutor 8285. Your subscription fuels the passion. Thank you so much. Let the function f of x be defined as follows. When x is not equal to 0, f of x equals the quantity e to the power of x minus 1 divided by x. When x equals 0, f of x equals 1. Determine whether f of x is differentiable at x equals 0 and find a value of f prime of 0. First step, checking continuity at x equals 0. We find a limit of f of x as x approaches 0. The numerator, e to the x minus 1, behaves approximately like x when x is near 0, so the whole fraction tends to 1. Since this limit equals the given value f of 0, which is also 1, the function is continuous at x equals 0. Next step, Computing the derivative at x equals 0. By the definition of the derivative, f prime of 0 is the limit as x approaches 0 of the difference f of x minus f of 0 divided by x. That means we look at the limit of the expression, the quantity, e to the x minus 1 divided by x minus 1 divided again by x. Simplifying the numerator gives e to the x minus 1 minus x. So, the derivative at 0 equals the limit of e to the x minus 1 minus x, all over x squared, as x approaches 0. Then, next step, evaluating the limit. We recall the power series expansion for e to the x. It equals 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 plus higher order terms. If we subtract 1 and then subtract x, what remains is approximately x squared over 2 plus smaller terms. Dividing that by x squared gives 1 half in the limit. Hence, f prime of 0 equals 1 half. Next step, conclusion. Therefore, f of x is differentiable at x equals 0, and its derivative at that point is 1 half, which is not 0. Because the derivative is not 0, the function does not have a maximum or minimum there. Final answer. The derivative of f at 0 equals 1 half. The function is differentiable at x equals 0 and has no extremum at that point. When dealing with a piecewise function that includes a removable singularity like this one, always expand the exponential function near zero or use Lapidolesse rule. This quickly shows both continuity and differentiability. That's it for this question solving. This video is based on our math tutoring blog and class recordings. Please subscribe to our channel Math Tutor 8285 and turn on the notification bell. Press the like button. Your subscription fuels the passion. Let's grow together. Thank you so much.